Hi everyone, today is Wednesday, October 15th, 2014, and in our investigations, Legion has struck again the demon that we have been tracking in the Bible, that we have shown that he is many, and that he actually possesses many different people across the earth, up to thousands and millions of people, and that he has struck again through this one young boy that is 10 years old here, killing this woman of 90 years old for yelling at him up here. And it happened up in the Philadelphia area, in the Pennsylvania state, north of Philadelphia, right here. The boy, his name is Tristan Carilla, right here, a fifth grader. As we've shown, this demon entity from the Bible named Legion is the same entity right here on the, the box cover of the Illuminati card game here, showing him coming for what's known as the fifth age in the Bible, the time of the great deception. See the clown right here? He is actually known as Legion and is also called It. When you look at the word Illuminati backwards, it says It, animal, I. He is the animal's I in everybody, literally. But you can see him here, and he's reaching the end of the age. It's going by scripture, actually, even when the Ebola breaks out and this idol worship begins to happen. But this one young man here is obviously possessed by him because he left all of the certain clues that we have been showing on our channel as we have been tracking this beast around the world. Tristan Carilla. He is a fifth grader representing the fifth age. And right here, just as we've been showing on our channel for the last few days, the big thing about this It character and Legion is his cane. The boy admitted to grabbing a wooden cane, holding it against 90-year-old Helen Novak's throat for several seconds and punching her in the throat and stomach, according to the police affidavit. So you can see that this is real, that this has happened right here. The same time that this has gone on, this gentleman named Mark Holden, in a type of Dancing with the Stars, I believe it's over in Australia and such, but it's not the American Dancing with the Stars, and he comes out and he dances Dancing as the It Clown. But he comes out and dances as the It Clown, and then he starts talking and, okay. and harassing all of the judges and doing these things. And he actually says that he was possessed by this It character. The It guy from the Stephen King movies. Now don't forget, this is a spiritual thing going on. Sorry, that's about the Ebola. You can see here that the Ebola is Women spreading also. Many people are saying that this is all fake over here. And I wanted to show that whoever's calling Ebola fake ought to go stand in the streets over here in Freetown and Sierra Leone through this point. As you can see right here. These people are not saying it's fake and they're seeing dead bodies actually in the street. So Ebola is not fake. You can't fake all of this, even with the CIA and everything. Look at that. <laughs> so be warned about that. There's a big group around now trying to call every single thing fake. They will even say that this is fake. It's this clown that's possessing people, even up to little children. Well, for those that have been following me, we showed about this cane just the other day when we were tracking this event. In the movie Storm of the Century, it shows Legion coming, going after the children, and he has this cane with like this wolf on it. And he's, he's a lot like Peter Pan. He even has the children flying with him, and he tricks everybody around the world. He's a type of vampiric entity, and not the type that we think of. He's like a spirit right here. Let's put it this way. You see him right here on the box cover? This is Mecca where they go around the black stone. All of Islam worships him, the beast from the bottomless pit, the black cube. See him right there? You can't deny this. See him? He is feeding on the black cube. He is feeding on all the worship and the, the souls that give themselves to the Kaaba right here. See him? And he's coming to do the mark of the beast. See the little knife? Just as you see Islam and ISIS doing, there he is, and he possesses people. So there we are, the sign that we just showed the other day, the Cain. Again, Cain of the Bible is coming. We showed that this guy is with his Cain. And immediately right after this, we showed that Kim Jong-un is also part of this beast. See, he possesses, he can, this thing can literally 
have control of all of the rulers of the world. Literally, a little piece of him is inside of everybody. Legion is many. He is a hive. Jesus Christ threw out up to 2,000 of him, of one individual named Legion, and they all went into pigs at that point. So you can see right here, he shows up with his cane. All in the news, real quickly. And the cane, storm of the century. The it guy being shown. Here he is in here. There's even been this clown incident being shown all over Bakersfield of, of California for some reason. Actually running around with like machetes, scaring people. There he is. And right here to where he's killed this old woman. Because this beast, most people don't realize this, and it's not going to be easy for people to understand. Let's put this right here. He represents part of these first two horsemen coming. See, like the white horse is ready to go. And he is given a bow, just like Ebola is ready for him. The white horse, and then the red horse rides with him. The time of Cain, the time of Esau, the time of the butcher. And he does something to people. He can cause people to kill one another. It's literal. Like, like a husband and wife will end up killing each other. Two brothers will end up killing each other. Uh, that that's the type of thing that he will do. He can cause a 10-year-old to kill a 90-year-old woman. This is what's coming. May God have mercy on us all. He has 2 billion of Islam already. And we've shown him over in Russia and China. You realize that that's almost like 4 billion people now that he has. It, between Russia, China, North Korea, and all of Islam. You, you get in the picture? This is real. It, it's the end of days coming. May God have mercy on us all. Confess with your mouth, the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart, God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. This also m means the time of the end of the Philadelphia church in the Bible, which actually means a type of rapture comes about. Revelation 3 the message to the church in Philadelphia. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. This guy is going to tempt the world to take the mark of the beast, and most people will want to take it for this fifth age. May God have mercy on us all. Just like I've been showing, we showed this the other day, just yesterday about the cane and now this poor lady is murdered may God have mercy on us all hallelujah confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved hallelujah <laughs>